Hi, this is Marcus Giuliano from HealthyChefDude.com. I want to talk to I want to talk today about my secret weapon. There aren't a lot of many secret weapons in the health world. There's no magic silver bullets. There's nothing like that that you can take and all of a sudden be fit and run a half marathon. But today I'm going to talk to you about something that has made a huge difference in my life, and a lot of people have noticed it. Because they say, Marcus, I don't understand. You know, I see you. You know, I see you drink wine all night and and. You know, next morning you get up and, and you don't have a hangover and I see you running four or five miles the next morning, first thing in the morning. How do you do it? You know, I don't, don't understand and I claim that I never get a hangover. I like to be healthy, but I do like my wine and I do like my beer and I do enjoy and I do indulge a little too much sometimes. Um, but there are simple rules I take that, never, that I never get a hangover and it's guaranteed every single time. And sometimes if I forget, I can easily reverse that in the morning. Um, here it is, my secret weapon. Ready? So this is simple stuff. Really, really simple. Baking soda. This is a non-aluminum baking soda. Baking soda is my friend, my number one friend in the health world. I take a teaspoon of this, pop it into a glass, into a pint glass, 16 ounces, two cups. I take some water, I fill up. Even if I'm not drinking alcohol, I still do this. Because what this is doing is this is detoxifying or it's helping my system take lactic acid out of my system, get out of my cells, dump and replenish. On my blog, you'll see some other links. Um, Robert Young has, does a lot with PH Miracle about doing baking soda, how important it is for your diet, for your body, um, really what it does for you. It's, this is amazing. And for the cost of this, this is incredible health care at this cost. I buy the non-aluminum one. It's twice the price of the yellow box, but it's only a couple of bucks. So they were doing... They've been doing this with horses for years. They're not allowed to do it anymore because the horse couldn't, they couldn't control what they were putting into the horse as far as the amounts. But this is also a term that's called soda doping. Athletes use this term. Beijing Olympics, the athletes were soda doping heavy because you can, it's been proven to improve your performance in endurance events. Up to an hour long, you can shave off 10% of your time. So when you're in a swimming con uh, event in the Olympics, you know, a tenth of a second is a major difference. You can have three people finishing in a tenth of a second. So if you're soda doping, you're allowing your body to flush the lactic acid, which is what you get from working out, dump that, and it's also what you get from drinking alcohol, drinking too much alcohol. And it's really what you get from just living and breathing. You get this buildup in your system of lactic acid, and you want to get it out. This helps you transport the lactic acid totally out of your system, to get it out and replenish. So this right here is uh, baking soda. It's all mixed in there. This has been, this has saved my life for heartburn for years. I don't have heartburn much anymore because I eat much, much better than I used to, but when I was a typical chef and I ate everything and drank all night and went out with the guys afterwards, played pool, drank another beer and would have cheese fries at 2 a.m. in the morning and get home and I couldn't sleep, baking soda would save my life because this reverses heartburn. I had a doctor tell me in Colorado when I lived out there over 10 years ago, that asked my acid reflux medication wasn't working, so they wanted to operate, and it was insane. They actually wanted to go in and operate on my trach or something. I don't, I don't know exactly where they wanted to go, but they were concerned. And I was like, "This is really drastic. I have heartburn." So you know, he was like, "Well, don't eat so many French fries." Is all that he could really tell me. And he goes, "At nighttime, maybe you should try sleeping in a recliner and sleeping more, more, you know, sitting up, so you can digest better." And it was ridiculous to think that that it was all simply solved through my diet was the acid reflux. But now I use baking soda much beyond acid reflux. Um, if you do have acid reflux, you do this exact thing. You know, people are going to say, oh my gosh, it tastes bad, it tastes salty. It doesn't taste that bad. That's really all. Just gulp it down. It tastes a little, little salty. But that's it. I have a, another thing that I do to this that I'll talk about some other time, but I add shilajit powder in here, which is some organic hummus, humus from India that excretes out of rocks and it tastes like tar and dirt, but it has 88 ionically charged minerals with fulvic acid. It's really a powerhouse. So I mix it a lot. So if you see me, I'm drinking something 
and it has a brownish tint to it, like tea or something, or like a beer. And with this combination, that's what it is. But for the meantime, I just want to talk to you about baking soda. It is a wonder. Baking soda is a wonder. Get your kids on baking soda instead of getting them on Gatorade. That stuff is crap, and they shouldn't even be drinking it. This right here is going to be much, much better, more beneficial than Gatorade and any of those fruit juices and anything. My son, seven years old now, he ran his first half marathon at six years old. What does he do before and after he runs? He drinks baking soda. He, him and I, it's a tradition before we go out for our runs, especially when we're racing for performance, we drink a glass of baking soda water. Um, and it's most the, it's probably the most understated value item in a grocery store is baking soda. Trust me, this stuff is great. Look at the links on here. Look at the scientific literature. It is absolutely amazing. Baking soda, my secret weapon. HealthyChefDude.com